This case involves more than judges and lawyers. An entire community grieves with questions still unanswered. Today, peaceful demonstrators march to the scene of where deputies shot Brown and Alex Little Hales picks up our team coverage. And Alex, what was their message? Well, Janet, the moment that the judge denied the public release of that body camera footage was actually right in the middle of a peaceful march earlier, just a couple hours ago in Elizabeth City. So in that immediate moment, we saw both highs and lows from this story, a community trying to stay strong, but also at least immediately upset about that decision. The streets of Elizabeth City are busy and loud, but peaceful. That beautiful. Faith leaders lead a walk to Perry Street to the point where this story gaining national attention started. The priest has the power. Y'all yeah. help me out here. Go ahead, go ahead. Someone say the church still has the power. At the spot where deputies shot and killed Andrew Brown Jr. serving a warrant, a community prays for justice in his name. I want us to be able to protest, to be able to share our concerns without it turning into something that's violent. This reverend drove from hours away in Greensboro, North Carolina for this unity prayer. Different congregations stood together a day after they declared a moral emergency. You don't have to be a member of a building to be a member of God's church. But an update added to their pain Wednesday afternoon. Just informed that the judge denied the body cam. My first concern is will that cause people to be disheartened or angry? What are they trying to hide? Right? Because whenever someone is in commission of a crime, there's no problem showing body camera. A judge denied the public release of body camera footage Wednesday, a blow for demonstrators like Reverend Michelle Lewis, who only want transparency. We talk about peace, but there's no peace without justice. There's no justice without accountability and transparency. While others are marching everywhere else, we want to pray over the place yeah. that it happened. Yeah. Yeah. April 21, 2021, 20, we pronounce the benediction yeah. and we say not another one. And just a couple moments ago, we actually heard some protesters walking through the streets here, but heads of the different congregations from earlier this afternoon are continuing to preach peacefulness in the protests here in Elizabeth City. In Elizabeth City, I'm Alex Little Hales, 13 News Now. And a state of emergency remains in effect for the city with the curfew beginning again at 8 o'clock tonight. And new developments are emerging nearly every hour. Trust us to keep you updated even when you're away from the TV by downloading the 13 News Now app. We'll have the latest from Elizabeth City tonight at 11.